ask in secrecy to deal with your creature called human. But through this activity here, we naked him, naked his activity, derobe his power, render him porous and impotent. In Jesus' name we pray. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, we have gathered again here this morning. My name is Reverend Father Associate Professor Paul Martin Obinaobai, the spiritual director of Okunere Adoration Ministry, otherwise aka Father Okunere. I am here to help you designed by God to make you fearless and tell you have been fearing fear and fear does not exist fear is negativity fear erodes faith fear erodes faith because if you see Peter before he became afraid he asked the Lord, if you are the one, permit me to walk on sea. And the Lord permitted him to walk on the rivers. But just midway, he started fearing and started sinking. You see it? Fear erodes faith. This, yeah, yeah, things here. Remove your faith, reduce your faith. Yeah. So it erodes faith, and that's why I'm here to tell you that all these things. I don't see what you see they are dirty they are dirty they are unkept the devil is unkept and as you keep all these things they are they are, they are stenchy they smell odorous and as such you can see why i'm against this is that we use them against ourselves. They are not for our progressive nature, which God created us to be. They set us back, 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 back. People begin to deceive themselves with it, to do all kinds of evil. Let me tell you, take up Psalm 115. Listen to this prayer. To you alone, O Lord, to you alone, and not to us, must glory be given. Because of your constant love and faithfulness, why should the nations ask us, where is you, God? Our God is in heaven. He does whatever he wishes. Their gods are made of silver and gold, formed by human hands. They have mouths, but cannot speak and eyes that they cannot see, they have ears they cannot hear, and nose they cannot smell, they have hands that they cannot feel, and feet that they cannot walk, they cannot make a sound. Woo -hoo! May all who make them, look at the cost now, look at the cost now. May all who make them, and all who made them, and who trust in them, become like the idols they have made. Wow. God, please deliver us. Look at how you are going to look on. Look like on the last day. You look like a bond of the pot. You see, <clears throat> Psalm 115. That's what I'm reading from something. Psalm 115. Verse 8. May all who made them and who trust in them 
become like the idols they have made. My God. Do you want to be like this? I am asking you, do you want to be like these things? Look at rubbishes. Is that how we want to become on the last day? Remember 1 John chapter 3, verse 3? He says, all who are children of Christ are going to be like Christ. We are all going to be like Christ. So I don't know whom you want to be like. You cannot walk in Nigeria and go to Britain to receive your salary or America. You receive your salary where you walk. You cannot serve God and on the last day you go to serve devil in hell. No. And you cannot serve devil here on the last day you go to serve God in heaven. No. Where you walk is where you reap. You don't reap where you did not sow. Sow? Sow now. Sow now. Look at what people do. Somebody do this. This thing. This what he puts on the neck. And sometimes on the anchor to do what? To avoid being shot down by bullets, caught by bullets. Look at amulets. But he's a dead person. Why did he die? You see it? He died of bullets. Why didn't this thing protect him? Devil is a deceiver. They can act for a while, deceptively, but after a short while, we just end you shamefully. Shamefully. Look at it. I want to tell you, if you see them demonstrate, look at this. It's like it is rosary, but it is not rosary. These are not rosaries. Look at amulets. Look at it. Don't trust in this thing. You know, the other day I was bringing out, I was bringing out something from, I was collecting all these items and somebody went at the, behind the picture of Jesus Christ and did what? And hid a charm. I think one of the charms is here. Uh, I think it, it was this one. This is how he did it was behind the photograph of Jesus Christ. So when you come in front of that, you can do sign of the cross. You don't know that there is Lucifer behind it. This is a very terrible thing. And it was just in front of the door as you are coming in. I went behind, I saw it. This is what is behind it. Why are we deceiving ourselves? You want to be proud of the devil you be. I am not proud of him because he's a man, cheerful man. He's not worthy of our worship. All these things you see, somebody pegged it. Look at it. So that it can be going for messages for him. See? The other day I was at the at the local government. You see, if I open these things, you see all kinds of concoctions inside it. See, this thing is for breaking lives, items, blessings of people. Some people confess in front of this. Yes. See, this is different from this one. This other man, he died has died. He still has the same iron axe. These things are very dirty and they trust in it. Look at why I hate it. These are the people whose um, uh, the, the sand under their footsteps we are taking and locked. Taken and locked. Look at it. They lock it. They're lucky. This one is very fresh. Anybody whose legs, footsteps, blessings and stars and destiny are locked, picked, caged, I severe it.
tight in the name of Jesus. Look at it. This broom is for poverty. Poverty. If you pass by, they will use it to sweep your legs and gather it and put it like this. See it. You become useless. Anything you get will be wasted. Why are we Africans like this? Why are we anti-progress? Why are we envious? Look at it. This is our food. This is our own science. If you have this kind of science, why can't you use it to make something good? But it just, if you see how impoverished these people are, you see, you will be able to look at, look at now. This is cow. Somebody spends a lot of money, but to buy fowl for the family to eat, you will not be able, but you can sacrifice a whole cow. Not one, not two. For the an animal called this. For instance, let, let me now see if I can break one of these things. Let us see the content of it. Okay. I don't feed all of them. They use it in protecting um, good witches. to see let us see what is there these are the things you keep in your house as you are God I'm scattering you are God today this is what they told you that it, you cannot die again itself is dying show your head quick Let us see the content of it. Right. Hey, can. can you imagine that? What did you see? What have you seen? Anything reasonable? Anything worthy? Just empty sand. They gathered all kind of nonsense and put it here and ask you to go and keep it in your house. And you agree. See how stupid we are? See it? All kinds of things. Meaningless, useless. Have you seen why I'm telling you? These are decayed animals. These are birds. See? Shamelessly, people, people put these things into their houses. Look at another one. Look at another one. Look at another one. Look at them, yeah. See, look at another one. I don't know why they must go with axe. See? Did you eat out anything meaningful, yeah? Did you find out anything meaningful? This is what they used to deceive you. You put the kind of smelly articles in your house and you call yourself a human being very stenchy and especially the places that are kept and unkept. Yeah, I scatter your head. 
And those you have trapped, I release them in Jesus' name. Look at them. If you see them, and they will begin to deceive you. We say, bring 100,000. Every bear rang is 100,000. 300 400 stupid and you are paying but you don't have one nada to train your children you don't have one nada to train your children and after paying all this you just die what's the sense of it i'm not crazy i'm not crazy say you're crazy look at in this spot that's no kind of thing that is not found in it. See it? This pot. And they call you, they invoke you, they put everything about you inside it, and you agree to be in it. All those whose names are gathered and put in this pot, I smash it in Jesus' name. Mm. Amen. Be released. Now let us see another one. What is in this? This knife is also evil knife. All those who are tied, there are some people abroad who are inside this. Some people in foreign country who are named inside this and they are there wasting their time. Nothing works out. Nothing goes good for them. You don't know they have caged you here. But today, the Lord Jesus Christ releases you. The Lord Jesus Christ has opened you. The Lord Jesus Christ is freeing you. As we free this thing here, so your business is freed, so your family is freed, so your everything about you is freed and those who cage you will come into this cage back to sender psalm 105 verse 15 says those who touch you i will strike them now let us see the yeah, yeah, thing inside this one again if you see how much they charge you you bring this and that and you bring isimbe you bring Akugo, you bring in Sudan. Have you seen the 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 the, the insimbe? All this in the mention confuse you more. Look at it now. Let us see the content of this. Look at it. Nothing, nothing reasonable. See, it? all kinds of yeah, yeah, thing are there. This one is what? The ribs of a bed. This one is bat. Bat. Flying bat. This one is toad. Look at toad here. Look at it. Toad. So anything you do will be frog jumping. Nothing works. They cage you inside. Some people have their hair inside. They say you bring this and bring that. When the bed's flying, look at toad here. Dry toad. All kinds of things are there. This is what they deceive you. And when they do all this thing, not all these things working, they invoke demons. Demons that will follow you about. And you know about them. They find it here. These are kinds of things they do. All these people are names of people written. Already declared. People's names are in this paper. But now they are all squeezed. You see. it I want to tell you that you must desist from this 
any of these items still in your house, you are cursed. If you don't know, I'm going to read it so that you understand what I'm talking about. Don't keep these things in your house. Come out, repent, change now, or decay. Change or decay. Even you, the native doctors doing these things, you know very well that we are deceiving humanity and God is not uh, 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 happy with you. I met a native doctor and asked him, man, won't you stop all this kind of thing? He said, Father, let me tell you, from here I train my children. I know very well that it is wrong. I know very well that I deceive. But what can I do? Nigeria is too tough. He told me plainly, but to who shall listen? Before I left, some cars were already rolling in his backyard. <laughs> you see? I went to his house and was telling me the frank thing about it. That this is where he feeds his family and this is his own business and this is where he trains his children. And for that, what else I have way to do? Leave there. Hey. Stop. Amen. So, what we're saying is, what we're saying is this, that God loves each person to be saved. Amen. God wants you to be saved. God wants you to be saved, not by all this mess. That native doctor told me the truth. That this is where he trains his children, this is where, and he has about five wives. He said, if I drop these things now, what will I do with my children? How will they go to school? How will I train my five wives? And how will I maintain life? It's just practical. But I know who God is. If you drop these things today, tomorrow, God will turn the things around with you. He is the owner of the whole universe. He has a way, or way out for you that you don't know. He's only waiting for you to say, I'm tired of this. Once you say, I'm tired of this, then the Lord will take over. But as long as you are not tired of it, he can never show you a different way. That is God for you. I also saw a girl who was deeply involved in marine water, marine spirit. I told her, girl, you must come out of this. She told me, Father, I'm not coming out. I said, why? What's your reason? What's your point? And she was very, very frank about it. She told me, listen, Father, if I'm lacking anything, I go straight to the market, to the shop. On arrival to a shop, I will look at the best wares. And when I see the best wares, what do I do? I will just point at it. And when I point at it, I will buy it, no matter the cost. How do I do that? They'll tell me it is 60,000. 100,000, what do I do? I'll just put, I it did not come to market. I do not go to market with one naira. But once they tell me a price of anything, what my duty is to dip my hand into my pocket. And as I bring it out, I'll come out with the exact amount and pay. A girl was telling me this, that if she comes out, she will be a wretched girl, she will be poor, she will no longer maintain be a high class lady that everything is assorted for her then i sang a patio basimizi Amen. When I sang that, the girl was frightened because I know the marine spirit will give you some gifts. That is bringing with right hand and taking it with left hand. I want to tell you that if you are strong in the Lord, all these things are mess, useless, powerless. Yes. 
My name is Reverend Father Uncle Nerere. Do you know where I derive it from the name of God? Hebrews chapter 12, 29, our Lord is the consuming fire. And I went to Daniel chapter 3 from 13 down once. I saw that three young men were dancing in the fire. Amen. And that's why I derived the word. Amen. Amen. That is my popular maxim. I tell it everywhere. You are a child of God. Let them keep on swimming water. The day when they will come to swim fire, they will be consumed. Look at Pharaoh and his men. We are drowned in the ocean of water. If they're near you, they will be drowned in the ocean of fire. Amen. They will be drowned in the ocean of fire. You don't need to be afraid. You are covered. Psalm 2 says the king of heaven love them to scorn, hope plan evil against you. Psalm 3 says he will reduce them to a heap of rubbish. Psalm 4 says, go and sleep, I will do the battle for you. Psalm 27, those who put thought for you to fall shall fall. Psalm 91, the flying arrow by door by night can never trace you. Isaiah 54, 15 to 17, no weapon sharpened against you shall ever prosper. Amen and amen. So I want to tell you, don't be afraid. God loves you. Psalm 35 says, whoever raises his hand against you, I will use pick ass on him. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 3 says, listen, I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. And Exodus 23, verse 28 down to 30 says, I will put confusion in their midst who try to hit you. Amen. And they will run when nobody is pursuing them. Say a bigger amen to what I'm saying. Say a mighty amen. So I want to convince you, be a child of God. Don't trust in all this. Look at all your things. They cage you. They ask you to bring all this. And when you bring it, they will invoke your name into it. And lock it and say, go abroad. Go to business. Go to this. And you begin to have problems. Because they are, God is angry with them. Let me read for you one particular verse. Look, if you are still ready to make for that chance, tell me your address. And I'll you. Do you hear me? If you are ready for more chance to spend your money, don't. Look at this one. Free. Take. Take it. Where is your address? Let me bring it. In case you need it. If this one is not enough, I add this one to you. Carry the two free. You are spending your money over something that does not satisfy. Look at it. This thing, the person made it. When he goes with it, he doesn't have an accident. But he had an accident. Look at Okay. You see it? He tied it. Use iron to tack it. Put six inches nail and hook it here. Look at all these charms. He spent money, heavy money, in all of them. But where did it lead to? Where did it lead to? Nowhere. Rubbish. Rubbish. I had to spend this one droppy. Put this one here. Put this one here. Yet, that keep on, keep on knocking on the door. Let me tell you. All these charms, all these deities, all these things they make up, look at a heap of that. Nothing was inside it. Nothing. I'm advising you. Disease from all these things. Let me read for you. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 7. Let me get it. Deuteronomy 7 says what? 25. Deuteronomy 7, 25. Go straight to there. 7, 25. Okay. Let's take it out from 24. The Lord will put your enemies in your power and make them panic until they are destroyed. He will put their kings in your power. You will kill them and they will be forgotten. No one will be able to stop you. You will destroy everyone. Burn the idols. Do not desire the savior of God that is on them. So who, those who want to make money through this, sorry for you. 
if you do that will be fatal because the Lord has idolatry do not bring any of these idols into your homes or the same curse will be on you that is on them so these things are cursed you bring them and say they are your God you are cursed along with them that's why I'm showing you these things that's why I'm telling you all these things you are cursing yourself and cursing your generation and cursing your children and cursing your efforts these things are cursed by God so don't be cursed along with them Deuteronomy 7 25, 26, he says, Do not bring any of these items into your homes, or the same curse will be on you that is on them. You must hate and despise these idols, because they are under the Lord's curse. I'm not the one speaking. I'm telling you what is in the word of God. Deuteronomy chapter 7, start from verse 26, he says, God hates these things. You think I'm just talking on my own? I'm not making injustice for you, but I'm telling you the truth. On the last day, this word will sound. Look at it. This things is this one is Ajuna, snail. They will cripple all your business. They will cripple all your effort. Look at it. They will pin it here with porcupine, porcupine. Look at it. To break this you see all kind of slow poisonous items and then when they curse you with this the sickness can not go easily so gentlemen gentlemen help yourself don't deceive yourself if you want us to open another one you can still see all this bottling this one the root names of people here and then Put one here and carry it along with them, and then another one here, and then another one there. This this is what is called gods of our people, the god of our people. They are not ashamed. The god of our people. Look at them. If you see this person carrying this thing around. Carrying it along, you think it's with a handkerchief. He doesn't know he, uh, he hiding a lot inside it. He put it in pocket and goes about. He goes about. Look at this one, tooth. Look at this tooth. This is how they dry you. Put you inside the pot. That one I opened. That's where they put you. And you don't know. Say Holy Ghost fire. Make those who tie you down become like this toad and be caged inside it like the toad in the name of Jesus. I break the curse. I break the spell. I break the powers. Look at this one. They use it to hook you and pin you. They will just pin you. After invoking your name and doing everything, they can use it to cause accident for you. Also, those, those uh, acts, they can use it to cause accident for you to send their evil thunder but we have our own thunder. Thunder back to thunder. Amen. Look at it now. After that, they will sink it into the head and you will just be wasting your time. They will sink it. AJ Janana. I am uprooted! Whatever they have sunk you into the head, whatever they have pinned you, whatever you nailed you, we unpin you. We unpin you, we unpin you, and what they have designed for you, go back to them in Jesus' name. I break it and set you free. All of you that whose sons, if you march across, they will follow you and use the broom and sweep it and, to, and take it to their share and curse you. But all those whose sand have been taken under their footsteps, I release you in Jesus' name. I release you in Jesus' name. They cannot tie you anymore. They cannot tie you anymore. They cannot tie you anymore. Look at this one, this old one. This one newly done. And they will do all these things. 
I say you are a son and a daughter of fire and you are ocean of fire and they cannot swim you. If they pursue you, run. Don't stay. If they pursue you, make sure you run. But where do you stop your running? In the middle of the fire. Like children of God stopped in the middle of the ocean and Pharaoh pursued, not knowing he fell into the middle of the sea and the sea started closing up. The same way, when they fire, pursue you, run and enter the fire. Boom. Let them come. When they ask them to come, only Meshach, Shadrach, Abednego, and Daniel, they know how to do what? To swim in the ocean of fire. And that's why we took our name as Ocean of Fire. As you know how to swim water, do you know how to swim fire? If you know it, come along. Amen. If you come, the ocean of fire will drown you. And so it is. I wrap all the children of God with Holy Ghost fire. Amen. So they bottle people up. They bottle you. But if they bottle you, I am unbottling you. They bottle you, I am unbottling you. Everywhere they have bottled you in any part of this world, under the earth, on earth, in the seas, wherever I unbottle you. Be free. All these little cages, this one invoke people and put you under it, calling your name, calling your name. That today it is all over. I unchain all those chains here in Jesus' name. Look at this cross is not a normal cross, it's not a normal cross, it's demonized cross. Not all who call Jesus, Jesus, follow Jesus. Go to 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 2 to 4. He says, There are many gospels, there are many Jesuses. <laughs> verse 14, he tells you. Even the angel of darkness transform themselves like angel of light to deceive people. But on the last day, they will receive the pay. Amen. There are so many pretenders. There are so many people doing all kind of funny things. I'm broken the pot, and you cannot be held again. So, whatever they pretend, will destroy their power. Where they put your head, we crush it. Where they put your head, we crush it. And so, at this point in time, look at what people use in this period. Eh? Look at. They call it lucky charms. Rings. This is what you're trusting. You don't know the kind of demon following this ring. Look at this one now. This is a monster. Look at the face. Monster. This is what you worship. This is what you believe in. Where did this devil come from? What is his name? You don't know. You are just invoking. I mean, you are just asking for power. Power for no reason. What is it? What is the name? Look at the teeth. Look at the, the eyes. Look at the ears. It's like a bat. It's like a human being. like an animal. It is like a goat. It is like a whatever. This is a monster. And that is what you serve. You carry about your finger. You are not ashamed. Look at this one again. Undefined. You see it? Gradating from all angles. You see it? Bulging from everywhere. That's what you worship. That's what you believe in. That's what you carry about. Trusting that they will save you. Sorry for you. These are amethyst rings of all kinds of things. So I want you to be forewarned is to be forearmed. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. These articles are just that very few, you know. In the cathedral there, this one they use it in doing suit saying. For suit saying. Suit saying. Diviners use it. They put all those cowries on it and be dangling it and asking and talking. And then be watching you from this this little mirror 
They use this little mirror to watch people and try to monitor your ways and put sand in all effort you do and cause disaster for you. They can cause accident for you looking into this grass. So anywhere you are being monitored, I am using thunder and fire to break, pierce, dismantle, disorganize, and backfire. Holy Ghost, fire! Be destroyed. You cannot harm children of God. You cannot deal with them. I am going to pray against all this with some, with our prayer. Prayer 17 and prayer 67. So go with me, prayer 17, page 93, thunder and uh, fire prayer book. Get it, open it. Father God, I thank you for making me your child. I worship you for you love me. You have made me proud because my enemies with your words in Numbers 23, 23 to 24, you said, there is no magic charm, no witchcraft that can be used against me or that will work against me. O oh, devil, together with your agents, you are liars and a bunch of failures. Upon you all and against your plan, I command Holy Ghost fire to locate you now and burn you into pieces in Jesus' name. May turn fire strike you. The scripture says, Mark 16, 18, that even if I pick up a snake or drink any poison, they will not harm me. I am more than a conqueror in Jesus Christ. Any projected charm And are you powerless? I owe you nothing but consuming fire to turn you to ashes in the name of Jesus. As I am anointing myself, you can never gain entrance into me again because in Christ Jesus and Christ is in me. Anoint yourself, Oliver, oil if you have any with you. you out of my body now because the scripture says that I am the temple of the Holy Spirit and not a temple of evil spirits or sickness <clears throat> nor poison 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 to 20 out of me out of me out of me any poison planted in you Matthew 15 13 says any tree not sown by my father must be uprooted. I uproot that poison in your body. I uproot that poison in your body and send it back to sender in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me now go to prayer 67. Open it if you have the book. Prayer 67. Let us pray. Okay. Today, prayer against deities and shrines, all these things that have concocted against you, against your family, against your businesses, we are coming against them now. Today, I disconnect myself totally from any deity or shrine. Say it. Disconnect yourself. Disengage. I am not a slave of deity, shrine of any kind, but a slave of Christ Jesus, who died on the cross for my salvation. Any deity, shrine that could document my name, 
let thunder and fire locate my name and burn it there on their shrines and consume them also. I send Holy Ghost fire to descend on the deities to shine. Since you accommodated my name and property, this fire will continue to burn until you surrender from attempting to attack me. Any place they call my name in any shrine or deity, let thunder and fire answer them in Jesus' name. Any deity through shrine that is after me in any way, no matter what you held against me and my family, listen, Romans 8 verse 1, the Bible said, there is no condemnation for those who live in union with Christ. Today, I reject you and all your powers. I said, go behind me, Satan. Whenever my name is mentioned to any deity or shrine, let thunder and fire appear there. Whoever that will take my name or anything that belongs to me again will be exposed by heaven and let a person run mad from that shrine in Jesus' name. So be careful. As you take children of God's name, property and name to shrine, so date it to native doctors. I know one of us whose name was taken to a native doctor and he became mad there and then, last three months. Once the man, the picture was brought there and the man was a native doctor. He just saw the picture and said, ah, you brought children of Okunerere here. And he became mad immediately. Native doctor became mad. The person who brought the picture quickly ran away and the whole village has assembled and started, they called police and took the man to the police station. This thing is live. The testimonial is here with us. So for you, you don't know you are a child, child of God, child of fire. They cannot take your name anyway and succeed. Enroll your name. As long as you are partaking in this activity, you're already a, a member of Okunere Adoration Ministry in Soka Inugu, Nigeria. So, I want to tell you that you have nothing to fear. Anybody who tries you, the battle is not your own. Why do you worry? You don't fight. We don't fight. It's not by physical. We are fighting against principalities and power, domination, sovereignty, and authority. And the, the battle is not our own. We are, hand, are trained for war in spirit. Amen. So, I want you to continue the prayer with me. Whenever my name is mentioned to any deity or shrine, it let thunder and fire appear there. Whoever that will take my name or anything that belongs to me again will be exposed by heaven and let person run mad from that shrine in Jesus' name. I hide myself inside the name and fire that is above every other name. Jesus Christ, take over me. Jesus Christ, take over me. Jesus Christ, take over me. I command all my blessings that are seized by any deity or shrine or quarantine there or hidden under there to begin to come back to me now in the name of Jesus. All my ways and connections blocked by deities and shrines like that of Daniel chapter 10 where the king of Persia, the spirit of Persia blocked the blessing. Any of such hanging blessing begin to descend now. Open and connect rightly in Jesus name. Their entire chief priests will never have peace anytime my name is called, any of my belongings is presented. I remember also again where I went for crusade. They asked me to come and take the idols. And when I got there, they conspired and wanted to hide it from me and took me to another site, left the shrine. When I came, I said, I, I thought you said we will carry away some shrine. They said, forget, he is no longer there. Whereas the chief priest was there looking after it. And I uh, innocently went and prayed. At the end of my prayer, to do sign of the cross as a closure, fire from nowhere, fall from heaven and consume the shrine. The chief priest ran naked, come to the square and begin to beg. He asked, Father, please forgive me. They asked me to stay and look after it. I said, look after what? He said, that shrine is where we wanted you to carry, but they said, no. 
I didn't know how fire came. I nearly died, so I come to beg you. You see, all the secrets they hid, just exposed. You think God is not alive? God is alive. I want to convince you. Believe in God. This is a nearby village here. So I want to tell you that anybody who is deceiving God is deceiving himself. God is our consuming fire and he continues to burn. How many women, how many workers, they know how to swim fire, swim water. Do they know how to swim fire? No. They don't try it. Only you and I, children of God, can swim fire and come out unscattered. Hallelujah. Pray on with me. Their entire chief priest will never have peace anytime my name is called any of my belongings is presented to their shrine. My name, my image, my property, and those of my family members will remain a threat to the life of their chief priest and all those who connive to do that. As long as my identity is there, their charms, incantations, meetings, and concoctions will never work for them until they discharge whatever is mine and that of my family from their custody for the scripture says, no witchcraft, no charm, magic tongue can be used on me. I pray with faith in Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. I believe in one and only God and trust in Jesus Christ, his only son, and reject the devil and all his glories. Children of God, Ezekiel 18 verse 1 to 4, Children of God, you will no longer suffer for what your forefathers did. These are the actions of the forefathers. And children are suffering. Some are in Lagos, in Abuja, in very many states, they are not doing well because these things are going to visit them there when they don't know anything. When they are worshipping all this, they, call, they continue to call your name. Uh, go and look after, okay, Joseph, uh, Paul, and all that. They are doing wrong things to you without their knowing. And you are there supporting it by joining court, doing kind of wayward life. You don't want to anchor on God. So when they charge these things here, they will keep on streaming to you. So call them off. Because that word of Ezekiel 18 verse 1 to 4, children shall no longer suffer what the forefathers committed. If you want to disconnect yourself, do right. Put your hand at right. Do the right thing. Do good in the name of Jesus. Amen. So at this point, I think um, we have done justice to it and pray that the good Lord, His infinite mercy, will continue to bless you. For those who believe in God, nothing ever shall come to you. If you trust in God, all these things and more cannot conquer you. Remember 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. The power in you is greater than the amalgamation of all the forces in the world. The Spirit of God in you is greater than the amalgamation, the combination, the coagulation, and the, all the totality, totality of all the deities combined, which is combined, occult combined. They cannot equip the force in you. First John chapter 4 verse 4. The power in you is Jesus Christ. Go to Colossians chapter 1 verse 25 to 28. You say the power in you is Jesus Christ. Abenicio. May God continue to bless you and bless you. Amen? So look at that. Check the one you want. Want any <clears throat> so that I haul it over to you? College. So God is not interested in the death of a bad person, but that he should change and live a better life. God loves you. Can you say God loves me? Today, God is not ready to kill you because you don't know anything. You don't know the, the implications of all these things you are harboring. You don't know them. Your friends will take you. Let us go to the native doctor. Let us go to this fake uh, prophets. They continue to prophesy for you. Buy this, buy that, buy that. That is a modern way they do it now. 
They can call you on phone and then they begin to siphon your blood. They can call you on phone and then they begin to tell you your name, your pictures. We are brought yesterday and uh, they are about to kill you. That it will make you stroke if you don't want to pay this and that. These are 419 eyes. Now, it's now a blue 419. We have 4120. So why do you worry yourself? 4120. They can do you nothing. You, they are the people to run for you. You can set them on fire. You can put them in a total mess. You can consume them. You have the authority. Luke chapter 4 verse 18 says, Those who are tied down are released. You are released in Jesus' name. And remember your authority in you. Luke 10, 19. I have given you power and authority to trample down serpents and scorpions, and nothing can hurt you by any means. And Mark chapter 16, 16 to 17. All these authorities will follow my people who believe in me. They will cast out them all. They will speak in new tongues. They will uh, command the devil and they will pack away. They will pick up a serpent, it will not burn by them. They will eat poison, it will not harm them. So all these authorities are accompanying us. We are endowed with it. So why are you afraid? Fear no more. A word is enough for those who are wise. May God continue to bless you as you assimilate this. Next week, either we come to explain more or we put for you some videos that will keep on convincing you. That I thank God so many people are calling me, windows abroad, America, uh, Britain, uh, Malaysia, all these people, they call me, how do they bring back the ones they have? Yes, I know, they are listening very well. And uh, more than 50,000 people are online watching what we are doing. And uh, I know some don't know. And God knows you don't know. And that's why he say, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. God forgive them. But today they have learned it. And they are repenting. Help them for total conversion. Metanoia. Repent and turn around to God. Amen. If you do it, blessings are yours. Blessings are yours. So once more, as I said, take note of this number. I will give you the number for WhatsApp. WhatsApp number. So, so that you don't make mistakes. There are people putting on their numbers here. It's not my number. Um, I don't know why they do that. They want to deceive you. Not in my presence. So, take WhatsApp number now. Again. This is WhatsApp number. Amen. 081-66. Yes. Are you there? I'm bringing it out for more. Okay. 081-66-08-5179. Noted. 081-66-08-5179. Then, direct line, you can call 80 3590-6640. Good. So, if they deceive you, not me made you be deceived. But unfortunately, I cannot pick all the numbers because the whole world is calling. So, if you can drop messages, it's still the same. We will answer you those ones we can answer. Then on Tuesday night, we will also pray for you. And on Sunday evening, 6.30, we will say mass for you every Sunday, 6.30 in the evening, Nigerian time, p.m. Then on every Tuesday, 8 p.m., we also pray directly for you. So these areas are on a day like this, Thursdays, from 9 o'clock upwards, we normally try to open your eyes. We'll also discuss maybe coming week, or uh, this week still, on the issue of uh, servants and masters. Masters and servants, it has been a topical issue. I try to tell the masters that you must settle your servants, no matter what. Go and click our line, Facebook line, Okunere Adoration Ministry, Facebook. Find it. 
you will find it there. Subscribe to it. Masters and servants. Listen to it very well if you are a master. Also, at the middle of it, all your servants must listen to that. Because if you still feel a master, you are going to pay for it one time or the other. So, one, one. Nobody should oppress the other. For we are all human beings and are made to be blessed by one another. So once more, may God continue to bless you. As you have listened, may the flowing of blessings never cease your direction in Jesus' name. Yes. May Almighty God, in His infinite mercy, bless you. Bow down your head and receive your blessing wherever you are. May God Almighty bless you, bless your business, bless your family, bless your children, bless your husband, bless your wife, bless everything around you. All the connection that the enemy has disconnected be reconnected now in the name of Jesus. And so, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.